Hi guys, I'm Sasha. Thanks for joining me. Today I am going to start refinishing a chair. There's going to be some woodworking involved and also some reupholstering. So stick around. I've got a helper with me today. This is Elliot. Hi! <laughs> so Elliot's going to help me take off the old fabric, um, which I will show you in a minute. And so he's going to help me with the, uh, the destruction of the current chair. So stick around and watch the process and let's see what, uh, <laughs> see what it turns into. So this is the fabric that's on here right now. And then as you can see, there are some wood accents to it. Um, and it's a rocker. So uh, I've never refinished a rocker before that was upholstered. Usually that's just the plain wooden rocker. So this will be a fun mix of the wood refinishing and the fabric refinishing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to start by pulling up all the current fabric to see what's under there and see what we have to work with. So right now we're just using a screwdriver to pull the fabric away and we are going to save our little gold these upholstery nails. We're going to go ahead and save those for the new fabric. Whoa! Yep. Look at that! Yeah. We've taken off all of the upholstery nails and so now I'm going to turn the chair over and we're just going to start pulling out the areas that are fixed with staples. So I have the chair turned upside down and I'm going to start pulling. I don't know if the camera can catch them, but these are just staples. So uh, we got to pull all these out with flathead screwdriver and needle nose pliers usually do the trick on that. You pry them up with the screwdriver and then pull them out with the needle nose pliers. This is the bottom front of the chair, but I have the chair flipped over upside down. Um, and when I take this off, I may not reupholster this. I may leave this wood. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the batting also. But if I was sure that I was going to reupholster this part of it, I may leave the batting if the batting is still in decent shape. Um, and because it is really, really pricey actually. But I'm going to go ahead and remove it because I'm going to try, or at least I'm open to the idea, of leaving this wood. Now all around the bottom has been unstapled. Now I need to do this part, which is a bit of a challenge uh, because it's really hard to see where the staples even are. So if we pull back this flap and get underneath it, then we will see what we're dealing with here. Also, this is a different method. I was going from the underneath, but sometimes this works better to go in from the top and pull with pressure down here and then also pry when you need to. But you can see a lot of those just came right out. Sometimes this is easier and sometimes the other way is easier. I'm having trouble getting good leverage, um, just the way that these staples are positioned. And if ever I have a choice, I want to work smarter, not harder. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here and try to use leverage going the other way. Except that I have a very dull. Leader. Yeah, that helped a little. Okay, so I've got all of that panel done. And in order to get at the cardboard, I'm going to have to uh, approach it from the other side of the chair. This is the back side of the chair. Uh, obviously, I have all the fabric pulled off of here. Looks a little creepy. <laughs> at least I think so. But you can see the 
the, the springs, and then there's a layer of this, I believe this is wool, and then uh, the burlap, and then I think that's horsehair behind the burlap, but we'll take a look at it um, from a different angle. So I'm pulling off this wool. I apologize for the shaking camera. It's hard for me to hold it still. I did a um, antique couch once and it was completely stuffed with horsehair. I'm not even sure that's what this is. This might be something else. It looked like horsehair at a glance, but I don't think it is. It looks uh, like it's all one piece connected to that burlap stuff. Now under here, we see this button goes all the way through. So we have some reinforced fabric here, these little blue pieces of fabric. That is where the buttons are attached. So I'm just going to see if I can pull it away a little bit and snip it. Okay, there we go. I think I called this wool before, but this is cotton. <laughs> Not sure why I called it wool. And the more I get rid of this stuff, which is very messy, the more I just find more places that are stapled. <laughs> See, so now I'm going to have to go in and undo this part. But this is kind of how these projects are. You never quite know what you're going to encounter. The part that I was trying to get from the front is actually attached back here. So I gotta go at it from back here. We're down to bare bones here now with the chair. I've got everything off. And now I'm gonna start making my decisions as far as if I'm gonna change the shape of the chair at all. And I think I'm going to change the shape of the armrests and go ahead and cut some of this off with a jigsaw. So this part right here is what I'm gonna change. It's really, really curved and wide here. I'm going to take it down a little bit. I might take it down a lot, but first thing, I took a, a ruler and I drew a straight line. So I'm just going to take a jigsaw, take the first part off, and see what I think. And then if I want to, I can keep going in. My only concern is making this arm too thin, and then it just won't have the, uh, the structural soundness that I want to keep for the chair, so. So I finished taking that bit off, but I really feel like it still just goes out a bit far here for what I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit more. I'm going to go one more inch. take a bit off of this inside of the arm. I'm just going to start sanding this bottom part. I'm going to start with a medium grit sandpaper. I finished sanding the legs, so I flipped it right side up. And now I'm going to work on the arms here. And this is going to be something that your eye is drawn to when this is all upholstered because this is going to stand out from the upholstery. And I've decided that I'd like to sharpen these edges a bit. They're really, really rounded and I'd like to have a little bit more of a sharpened edge here. So I'm going to do that with the sander. It's going to take a while, but I do think it will be worth it in the end. I'm 
also going to go ahead and sand these dowels to where they're flush. I finished the edges on the arm and now I'm doing the top part of the legs here and I'm gonna have to use my Dremel because my sander is just too big to get in there. I've finished sanding and I'm gonna go ahead and put some tongue oil on this. This is going in the same room as the blanket chest that I did, so I thought I would just go ahead and finish the wood the same. 